Hi Scorpio, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to this week's reading for the 13th to the 19th of April 2020. I'm sorry I'm not doing yours live because uh, I put something uh, in the description box or the chat. So go and have a look at uh, uh, Cancer, Gemini or any other ones before July. Um, uh, because next week I'm going to go live and discuss about each sign uh, they're reading. Have you got any suggestions? Have you got any questions with regards to the reading? Not personal questions because that will be, I will go into that later after the discussion and the question time uh, like uh, what does that card mean or um, what do you mean by codependency? How can you help somebody with uh, uh, that is codependent? Um, things like that, because you've got the card codependency. That's why I used it as um, um, an example. Also, uh, I'll, uh, you've got uh, Archangel Metatron, and you can talk if you've got any questions with regards to Archangel Metatron then please ask your questions next Friday um, that is what I mean by questions um, how do you know th uh, that uh, the uh, moon sign is Pisces how do you know that the king of wands um, is uh, Aries if you've got any questions like that if you are learning tarot perhaps yourself then perhaps you might want to ask a question about that that's the type of questions I would like to discuss or suggestions I'm open to suggestions what would make you um, come back or keep you coming back to Charlie's Angels Tarot. What do you like the best from the readings? I've done different forms and different shapes of readings. Let me know um, either next week in the live sessions or underneath this video. For more information uh, you can uh, have a look underneath the video in the description box or click on the white circle with the eye in it and it will take you to the website and there you've got contact information if you wish a person personal extended reading or any other kind of reading you can have a look uh, at the on the website what kind of readings are available but after the discussion and the question time I will have time for uh, readings that are donate uh, were done with donations like super chat or super stickers and I will give you a three card spread plus uh, that's tarot or Lenaman, that's your choice and also with an oracle card um, but the, I will be going live tonight um, Monday, Wednesday and Friday uh, well Friday I'll have to see how it goes with the live sessions um, but Monday and Wednesday um, those are definitely the nights um, that I will give out free cards and uh, be also available for super chats and super stickers. I'm just finishing off Scorpio uh, the readings now I've only got you to do and Sagittarius and I really should do uh, Pisces as well again because the sound was terrible it didn't work and this microphone I don't know whether it's this microphone because there are issues on YouTube because I've done all the videos nearly all the videos up till July uh, in the live session and yesterday I did three and they were only there this morning at 10 o'clock 11 o'clock so uh, there are issues because YouTube is uh, trying to um, upload and check all the videos uh, that they are properly uh, conforming to their regulations and I thank uh, YouTube for trying to keep uh, us in the air um, but it is frustrating so that's why I'm doing yours as a recording so have a look at any other uh, signs or readings uh, uh, from Capricorn to Ju uh, July then you can see what I've put in the chat
and I hope you will join me next week in the life to discuss your reading and I hope it resonates with you and I hope you enjoy it and remember this is a general reading so if it doesn't resonate with you then have a look at your moon sign and your rising sign because all the zodiac signs are made of planets, stars, other planets like the moon, uh, Pluto, Saturn etc etc Okie dokie. So uh, thank you very much for sharing and liking and if you do, if you are new and uh, if you haven't checked out your subscriptions uh, on your favorite channels then do because the system is new and click on the bell and click on all A-L-L -L, then you will be uh, notified much quicker because that's in the new system uh, because YouTube are deleting uh, accounts that uh, when people aren't visiting frequently or when people uh, yeah the, the, the something like I've been saying three four weeks ago the old system is changing into the new system we are here now so check that you your favorite channels that you are still subscribed to Okay, let's go to your reading, my darlings, and uh, you can see what the cards are like. So these are your cards, and I'm using the Guerrier, uh, Morgan and Guerrier and Hansen Roberts deck. Morgan and Guerrier, Hansen and Roberts, the Romantic, Answer of the Angels, and the um, Angel cards. I'm giving you an angel because I wish you protection and guidance and that you are protected by your personal angel for the week. Okay, Scorpio, the first card that you have um, is the Seven of Cups. You might have goals and dreams. Make a bucket list and, uh, and the pro or a pro and cons list and see which dream could be fulfilled quickest. This will also... Um, the, the pro and cons list will give you a, a, a quicker answer to which dream or wish will be fulfilled quicker and this will motivate you to go on to the next goal or wish and you you might even get more than one this week because you've got the meters touch everything you touch turns to gold so in other words everything you do will turn out positively because the king of uh, pentacles has the meters touch he knows how to invest he knows how to get things done and also for long term and with durability on the other hand the king of pentacles represents Taurus <clears throat> the king of pentacles um, is the highest status of the uh, person cards people cards like the queen of pentacles and that is Virgo <clears throat> excuse me and the page of pentacles is Capricorn uh, the first house is actually April, the second house is um, uh, Taurus, so you have heard me talking about houses before, the houses of power, the second house, and um, I'm trying to integrate all these things, aspects and different sides of the cards um, so that the readings are interesting. Have you got any suggestions, like I said, um, that I can make it even more interesting or different? Then let me know in next week's live session. I'll be starting on Friday and working through on Saturday. Because I reckon it will take a, a good hour with each uh, zodiac sign um, to discuss and answer questions. I hope so. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, Scorpio, on Wednesday we've got the Hierophant or the High Priest, as he's also called, or the Shaman. This is also Taurus. He also represents Taurus. Perhaps something um, that has been hanging in your subconscious will come to the forefront of your consciousness. So, something that you... Um, have been thinking about might materialize or something that you've been dreaming about dreams um, will come to the foreground and actually you might be seeking advice on how to get it into the practice or bring it out into the open an idea putting an idea into practice into reality perhaps you've reached a stage 
now that you are ready to start your own business or start making uh, your hobby a business. These are all options. The Hierophant also marries people, bringing people together. This could be a mediator. It is definitely an advisor. The basic meaning means that you might seek advice from a father figure or from a professional. This could be a doctor. This could be a teacher. This could be a lawyer, a bookkeeper. You name it. He is a man uh, and works for municipalities or institutions. This might bring you actually sleepless nights if you are in a judicial situation. You're, something in your conscious might be niggling at you or gnawing at you and you want to bring it out into the open because the truth always does come out and you are seeking judicial advice so that you can sleep at nights again. But at this moment, um, I would also suggest, would like to suggest, put your uh, stress uh, levels or your stress or worries next to your clothes at night because you've got the nine of wands and let the divine take care of it and the angels. And they obviously also need a little bit of help from the earthly, that is you, and perhaps your advisor to stand you by and protect you. Like I said, the truth will always come out. So if you're worried about something that you've done or somebody else has done to you, go and talk to somebody professional about it if, if it is a judicial issue. If it is an emotional uh, situ uh, um, an emotional issue because you're too much in your head, and then go and talk to a father figure or a close friend. At the end of the week, you have the King of Rods. The King of Rods is um, I'm thirsty. Sorry, <laughs> the King of Rods is Aries, because, like I said, the King is the first, and it works its way down secondly to the Queen, and the page, the Knights are not included, um, and also the Big Arcana. You've got um, one big, uh, two Big Arcanas, and that's the Hierophant. That's from the Big Arcana, and that he represents Aries. Now he usually sits on a throne in the traditional uh, cards and you can see the ram's heads on the chair. Um, and again, he is uh, uh, Taurus, uh, the, the King of Rods. Sorry, you can see it better like this. And this is a man, he knows what he wants. He know, He's logical, he thinks about it and he's strategic and he goes into action for what he wants, he will get. Now, if you're meeting uh, a King of Rods and um, uh, you would like to have a permanent relationship with him because they are also very passionate and you don't want to burn out, you don't want this relation to burn out or him to burn out or you to burn out. So let him know what your boundaries are and know what his boundaries are and what he wants, what he expects. Remember, I always say, if you have a fire sign, they are loyal and they think you are theirs. Okay? Now, nobody belongs in my vision. You, uh, Nobody belongs to anybody. But the fire signs are pretty... Uh, uh, like a lion, he's a hunter. Um, like uh, Sagittarius, um, if you dig del if you dig deeper, then Sagittarius. Uh, there is a thirteenth month. Now uh, the thirteenth month um, that was Sagittarius initially, I believe. Uh, don't. Uh, kill the messenger but that was a serpent and so that is also a hunter um, <clears throat> also Aries uh, is a ram and is also he bangs and fights uh, for what he believes he protects his harem okay and his kingdom so that's why the king of rods is very fiery and sometimes when you're banging your head against a brick wall, that's how I interpret it and um, see it. 
then they they burn out you, you you know you use too much energy so they sometimes don't know when to stop <coughs> excuse me they don't know when to stop but they have the best intentions they love you till the end of time um, and they will go through hellfire for you once you've got their heart that's it so um, the fire signs are very prominent here don't although he represents Aries and the Hierophant Taurus um, is also an earth sign don't exclude the other earth signs or fire signs and that's Virgo and Capricorn and Sagittarius and Leo you have the magician so be re uh, he is an, an artist in illusion so be honest with yourself and be honest to the fire sign let them know what your boundaries are and what you want that is being straightforward okay and they should do that the same Scorpio okay you've got all the elements around you and within you to make this new beginning this magical step okay this could be a new relationship it could be a new passion but if you want this passion to grow out into a fully fledged relationship then talk talk and let them know what uh, you want it could be that you are fighting uh, judicially with a fire sign with regards to marriage perhaps getting um, you come from different beliefs and you don't want to get married in church and you do uh, because the hierophant marries people but this could also be an official in the registry office like I said institutions and municipalities perhaps and there could be arguments there and you need it justified you and uh, you need clarity because that is what justice means you might be out of balance and you the sword is balance uh, clarity and cut straight through to the core to get the truth out what is the problem uh, why we why aren't we getting married in church or I don't want to get married in church be honest be clear get the balance back if you are in a judicial situation you might just have to settle for the registry office or um, because you might have different beliefs that could be the issue um, the justice card also represents Libra <coughs> But don't exclude any other air signs. But prominently it is Taurus, Aries and Libra. This could be your soulmate. And um, a soulmate. Um, this could be in a friendship or in a relationship. But it is this union is protected by the Archangel Gabriel or Raphael. I'm not quite sure. But you can see the wings of the angel and the lion, the strength of a lion. Okay. So the two of cups, you want to get balanced emotionally. And this is also the soulmate card, a lot like the lover's card. So there could be a marriage, but you have to know what you want and make it clear because you are like the king of pentacles you want durability and long term that is what the seven of cups could mean because that is your dream that is your wish now the overall energy means that somebody has left somebody the basic meaning of this card means that somebody has taken something from you um, without you knowing it perhaps and left something behind that perhaps they left and left you with a broken heart so learn from the past look what is underneath it the ten of swords so you might have been stabbed in the back in the past or you might have a back ache um, don't worry uh, you are strong because you are you have luck on your side you've got the magician you've got good advices be it doctors or otherwise 
Okay, the Seven of Swords means that somebody might not be honest or hasn't been honest with you in the past and you have learned. Now you have healed or you will heal because you might be worried perhaps you don't want to get married that could be it as well you want a relationship you want a partnership but you don't want to get married because you are scared of the past this could be the energy of the past continuing in the here and now making you anxious and sleepless and worried that that will happen again so go and get your advice and guidance it is time to take time out. Perhaps take a short break with each other. Or take a break from each other. I know we are in lockdown, so this could also represent the lockdown because it means a piece of rest, a retreat, meditation, contemplation and evaluation. So evaluate the situation. Perhaps you are locked up together with a Libra or an Aries or a Taurus and you do want to get married but you are uncertain for long term so contemplate write down your ideas that you get when you meditate or contemplate and evaluate it evaluate it with an advisor perhaps perhaps your general practitioner this would be one of my questions and I'm going to write them down uh, Scorpio uh, because this is a beautiful question before I forget Scorpio co D you've got codependency um, perhaps somebody in the past was codependent And you don't want any you don't want to be partnered up with somebody that was is uh, codependent okay perhaps you don't want anybody that is codependent that you feel that you have to do everything that you feel that you are the backbone of the relationship nobody belongs to anybody as I said and I've got a lot of people, I know a lot of fire people that are in this situation that their partner was codependent and they didn't want to face, they used to run away. It's not being sneaky in this sense because you know what they do. Perhaps that is the fire sign running away because they don't want to face their weaknesses. Perhaps you are codependent on a Libra or a Taurus or a fire sign. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Perhaps they have addictions, but you know, this is a lot like the devil card. And when you look at the devil card, the devil is holding on to a f woman and a man, but the hands are loose so you can break free make that decision to break free from anybody that is codependent and don't be codependent there should be equilibrium balance here you are the word balance justice there should be balance in a relationship there's I must admit the truth it does come out um, you know there's always one that's stronger than the other doesn't matter whether we are married with our opposite sex or with the same sex. There is always one stronger than the other. Um, but it mustn't overhear anything. It should be, let's say, 70, uh, uh, 50 50 or 55 45 percent in balance, but not 70 and 30 if you believe if you believe that you can handle the situation and you've spoken about it and you've evaluated and com contemplated about it and you've seeked advice then you can work it out only if you believe in yourself as well and in the other you can work it out but you have to clear the system and you'll get help from Archangel Metatron it says 
chakra cleaning, cleaning chakras. Archangel Metatron, he works with esoterical geometrical signs, and you can see that by the signs he's got up here. Uh, that's the, the sign of the life path. He's calling upon you and he's asking you to call upon he, him to clean your chakras and um, to open your heart, your emotional chakra. And he will clean your chakra system with the esoterical geometrical signs. And that could be your spirituality because there's a lot of pink, but there's a uh, purple that spirituality and there's a lot of pink so that is your heart chakra and that is also Archangel Shamuel okay Scorpio I hope you have enjoyed this reading and I hope you will join me next week and, uh, and let me know what your questions are and what you would like to know or uh, uh, and give me suggestions what do you like best I hope you have enjoyed it. Please share and like this video and take care. God bless and stay safe.